How's it going, everybody? I'm back in, in Fallout 4 at Taffington Boathouse. This time, I'm going to be going ahead and uh, finishing up this bus. I told you guys last time I had an idea for what to do with this bus, and so I go ahead and I, uh, I'm i going to try to turn it into like a building, like uh, it connects to a building. And so to do that, I was going to go ahead and add floors on the inside because this back end is pretty torn up and I just could not get it to go in uh, for a while and I mess with this for a long time but while my guy while I mess with this I'll talk about my character as if he's his own person doing stuff while I mess with this uh, I'll go ahead and explain why this video is so long so I um I this this first build does take a long time but it was probably only going to be like a maybe like 15 to 20 minute video uh but I go ahead and like it takes a long time this first build does because I actually changed a lot of things and so me taking things putting them in taking them out editing things it, it still ended up being an extremely long video and I apologize for that I'm sure that someone will be like oh no we want we want a longer video but I didn't want to post an 18 minute video because it's just I doubt that anybody's going to watch it fully so like I'm going to go ahead and explain that as if it makes any difference but I also added the second half of the junk wall after this build is finished um, and you'll see because I actually did build it after I finished this build uh, I kind of decided like oh I don't want to connect this like it's a wall to the water I just wanted to leave this side open and uh, I'll probably change that but for right now, I, I'm just leaving it open. And, like I said, this is just me messing with this for so long. And I apologize for that. I probably could have cut this down a little better. But, um, I just wanted to show you guys how I deal with some of the issues that I have in this game. And, like, I just cut right there. And, still, that was because that was me for, like, two minutes fidgeting with that and I didn't want you guys to have to freaking deal with me just moving something over and over non-stop for two minutes straight and so the only issue I had at this point was no longer getting it to glitch in uh, equally but it was just getting it to getting the pillar to not glitch on top of the bus so like I kept having an issue where it would try to like go on top of the bus and so it was really frustrating but eventually I I fidget with this long enough to where it actually works at some point I'll eventually get it and I was trying to get it to where it, the wood on this end lined up perfectly with the wall so that it just looked a little bit more thrown together I guess so it looked like they kind of boarded up that side but next I go ahead and as you can see a moment ago it kinda it does snap on but since it's since it's two separate like squares of wood it had an issue where it didn't wanna clip on the right angle I guess and I didn't want it to do that because I wanted to build a building on this so originally you can see I was wanting it to be lined up with it and I eventually just go on the side because I thought why do I need it to be like right lined up with it when that bush is right there and I don't use um the scrap all mods because it causes issues with clipping and stuff so you can't quite 
do the pillar glitch like you're supposed to be able to, and I thought that I could just do that at first. I was just going to put that extra bit on the right side, and I ended up moving it and deciding it was going to be on that back side instead of having a bush come through it. But it ends up still clipping through a little bit, but not quite so bad. And to have that wall on that end, I wanted to have it have some supports, so I used the extra shack bridge and I went ahead and just tried to pillar glitch it in and this has so many issues because you have to have it like what I'm doing right now I'm making sure that it's below it where it'll let me pillar glitch it and I think that okay so I, I ended up getting it to work Right there, yeah. I ended up getting it to work, but like I said, like I've told you guys before, most of my builds take so long because I have to fidget with stuff for so long too, and so, and yeah, and I decided to move that at first because it was clipping, and I didn't like it to be clipping on the right side because that end is kind of sticking up as you can see and so now it's me just trying to get it to work and so I use the pillar on the side which is what I should have done uh, this is what I could remember I was gonna tell you guys a minute ago I think I moved it to the side to pillar glitch it and it worked but as you can see it I can't get up and also I get it to work and so now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna close off that side of the building um, and so that's why I just got that piece out and so I close off those real quick and I put that wall because I I like having those kinds of walls this one especially whenever stuff is kind of clipping through because then I can kind of like explain like oh the bush is growing through the wall rather than it just looking like like junk because I just don't like the way that it looks whenever stuff clips through my walls and there's not holes in the walls to explain it and so now it's just me trying to build the actual building on to the side of it and so I go ahead and I put a roof on it and you can see that there's like still a huge gap between like the side of the bus and where the building goes and at first I wanted a bridge or not a bridge a stairway on the side and I put that there but I actually changed my mind and I decided that I wanted kind of a a shack bridge going out and I thought about using that but I wanted to have rails on it so this one I feel like looks better with rails on it so that's what I went with and I just go ahead and I try to pillar glitch it in onto the side so that it looks like there's kind of like a porch area I guess and you'll see what I mean when I put the railings on it and stuff by like porch area. I think it turns out really well. And uh just a lot of fidgeting, man. Like this these builds take so long because of I mean just for that reason. And I also I put a staircase on it. Like I s said I wanted a staircase on that side so they can get into the building cuz the um the navigation of the of the oh man that tree just glitched in I didn't even notice that that was weird but the navigation of the settlers and the settlement they don't path correctly up certain builds so like that bus staircase like even though there's buses in the game that are full I'm almost 100% certain that they won't actually use that which is frustrating because it's just half of a bus rather than a full bus and so like I don't understand why that would be such an issue but it is and they can't use it and so I go ahead and I put a staircase on this side so that they actually can get up inside of the build and the idea for the this by the way I didn't even tell you guys the idea for this was that it was gonna be kind of like a a motel was my original idea it was like the people traveling through could stop and since there's all those bedrooms upstairs and stuff and also, 
I wanted this out here to be that way. I wanted it to be the ones upstairs were the people that actually live in the settlement. And then these kinds of, like this house right here was going to be for travelers. So people could stop and stay here or caravans could stop and stay here without having to worry about like just being out in the rain and stuff. Like how in some settlements they have specific areas where the caravans automatically go to and they sit around a fire or something like that. I wanted them to use this that way. And so, like, that's just how I, I felt in my head. I thought that this would be where they go. And so there's me trying to figure out how to fill in this gap, and it doesn't work, and I still mess with it. It's, it's ridiculous how long I try. But I actually think that, yeah, so now... I go ahead and I just try to rug glitch walls in and I go with this one because of the angle so I can kind of like fit it where it goes at an angle to the side of the bus and fills that gap and so you'll see what I mean whenever I get it on the outside it kind of doesn't help with like the whole idea that like oh yeah the the bush is growing through because it kind of looks like it's just growing out of the the junk wall, which I don't think looks too well. And also, I go ahead and replace this with one with a curtain because it's kind of facing outwards into the uh, towards the road or whatever. And so I put a curtain kind of just for privacy or whatever. Even though the outside of these outside of this bus is open. And also, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do the junk wall. And this is actually a kind of junk wall that I've used in other settlements on my other saves. And so the idea for this is just it's going to be thrown together like something you would see in uh, in the game in Good Neighbor. Like I like how they use these kinds of like shack fences on top of walls to make it look like bigger and look more like a junk wall that's like thrown together. And so I go ahead and I try to do that to fill this gap between the building and the junk wall that I'm building. And so I try to find pieces that go together and kind of, well, not necessarily go together, but kind of the colors don't clash too much, but they don't look like just one uniform thing. It looks like it's thrown together by the settlement. And so... To do that, I went ahead and I put, it was an unpainted warehouse uh, roof, like slanted bit, I guess, on top of the um, junk wall, or the corrugated steel wall, and uh, to make it look a bit more set up on the inside, and I can't get the pill, what is going on with the rug glitch, it's crazy. But to get it to look a little bit more set up on the inside and also the outside, I guess, too, I want to have these junk fences facing them. And so I wanted it to be, because I know that these are kind of 3D, so I wanted it to have the plywood kind of sticking through but nothing else. So that's why I'm just messing with this so much right now is because I can get it to be... I mean, perfectly lined up like that. That looks so good to me. Like, the plywood just looks like it's kind of pinned up on the the wall, and it makes it have more texture and depth and stuff. It just looks like something that's not built by Beth. Or, well, it looks like something built in the game, but, I mean, it's not just the, the wall. It, it looks better being thrown together with other pieces and stuff. It looks like I've done a lot more than just throw together the junk walls that Bethesda has put in the game for us, or modders have put in the games for us. I, I wanted to add my own texture to it and add my own style, and so that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And then I thought, since it was supposed to be like a junkyard type of theme or whatever in the front, I was going to go ahead and do a similar thing in the back, and I ended up putting another like stack of junk cars along the back end of 
the wall so that it would kind of blend in with the front. And you're going to see some jump cuts here because this took forever to get these in position where I wanted them to. And unlike the front of the build, I cut out a lot of the detail of like placing the fences and stuff because it it's just kind of like decoration like I said in the last video. Uh, and so I just didn't want to make this video any longer than it is, so I cut that out. But uh, I still do put like cinder blocks and stuff to kind of make it still look a little bit more blocked off rather than so open. And I do the same thing with the sandbags because I think that looks fantastic, just like the front. And so, like I said, a little jump cut just to make this a little bit quicker. Uh, and yeah. I add a lot of decoration to this and as you can see I went ahead and put like a windmill and I actually glitched a turret up on top of it so it looks like it's on there and to make this a little bit more secure I put a fence down into the water actually and just put some junk and cinder blocks and stuff just to make it look a little bit more secure on the inside and like I said that wall I feel like looks so good and uh like I had mentioned, it was supposed to be a junkyard. I put a disposal sign on it, like a Jalbert Brothers disposal. And with decorations, I think that this looks fantastic. And uh, I put the big apartments billboard across the top. And I think it, it turned out great. And I'll go ahead and take you guys inside, because I did decorate this. Uh, these decorations took forever, because I actually put plywood down like across the entire bus to make it look a little bit more I mean like a house and stuff so if we go inside you'll see what I mean when I said uh, like apartment or motel or something just got some cots and some chairs for them to relax some other things in there some reading materials toys in case you've got kids but I still think that it turned out great I did end up putting a railing on that so that it wasn't just open and I just put some boxes to kind of block up that um, that bush coming inside. And then there's a little table for food and stuff. And like I said, I really liked the way this build turned out. Um, if you guys liked this build, make sure you let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys had to say about this. Uh, also, we just hit 60 subs. That's super awesome. It took like one day to get from 53 to 61 uh, and that was a huge deal to me, and I appreciate all the support, and thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.